Welcome YouTube. Uh, tonight we're breaking a box of Caladime. Uh, seven slots randomized. Our first pick went to James on black. Our second pick was Graham with green. Third pick was Devin with blue. Fourth pick was Ryan with multi. Fifth pick was Jamie with red. Sixth pick was Austin with white. And seventh pick was James again with lands. Carlos is unclaimed. Uh, Colorless goes to the slot that pulls the least value tonight. Uh, so if you pull the least value, you're going to get a nice stack of colorless cards, hopefully, to go along with it. Pew Pew Roman Ninja Princess, how, what's going on tonight? How you doing? Alrighty. So, without further ado, let's cut this box open and get started. Awesome, awesome. Just making dinner and chilling with us. That's great. Love to hear that. Alright, let's move these damn top loaders out of the way. We're going to need them later, but not right now. We want to show off the booster packs. Oh, that's another hard to get into box. Really? Okay, there we go. That was a little excessive. I mean, I guess you have to be 13 to play the game, so in all fairness, the box was childproof to keep me out of it. Damn, that's a deep stack of packs. 12 packs. Bam. Another 12 packs. Bam. Another 12 packs. Bam. Yeah, I literally have to break into the box for the box break. That's how hard the box is to open. But that's alright, we made it into the box. Now we get to start with some packs. Which stack are you guys feeling tonight? Left, right, or middle first? Where are we going to get the big hits? Who's all watching in chat tonight? Call it out. Left, right, or middle? Crack some packs. Alright, I see two votes for middle. We're going middle. Oh, good. These are the hard to open packs. No, maybe not. Oh, maybe they are. Sorry, Balzik, we got outvoted on the left. We'll go left next time. Alright, so we got Bird Token. Uh, let me clean up. Some jank piles here. Uh, we got... Yeah, childproof right down to the cardboard and everything. We got a snow-covered island for the lands player, and I don't know if our rare is coming next. It is. Rainine, God of Worthy. Extended art. That's cool. That's cool. Nice hit white right off the bat. Let's get some sleeves, everybody. Good luck, good luck, everyone. Indeed. Get some sleeves for that bad boy. Snow lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Non-creature spells converting mana cost four. Cost two more to cast. That's pretty good. Flip it over. Becomes a shield that prevents one damage from each source. Heard that's good against like goblin decks and little red aggro decks and stuff like that. That is mad tight. Nice hit white. Who's on white? Austin. Six pick. Nice hit. Nice hit. We got a rootless U for green. We got a b ice bind pillar for blue. Weathered runestone, constructed playable for colorless. That's for whoever gets the least value. We'll just put that, just put that in the pile over here to go out to somebody later. We got iron verdict, mists of Lajara, squash, death knell berserker. Raven's Wings, Struggle, Vault Robber, Funeral Longboat, Revitalize, and Run Amok. Uh, just a reminder, if there's any commons that you guys are looking for, just let me know. 
Uh, we send out what we consider to be the hit commons. I don't know that there's that many hit hit commons in this set, but that doesn't mean you guys don't need commons nonetheless, so just let me know what you need. I do believe I cut myself on the box. That's what we call a sick breaks injury. I'm just going to try and clean that up for a second. I don't want to get blood on anybody's cards. Better my shirt than your cards. Alright, cool, cool. Good to go. A tree folk right next to an elemental. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, come on, Pax. Welcome, Master Spy. Glad to have you with us tonight. Enjoying that new little sword badge. Master Spy is our, uh, one of our moderators now. Got a zombie berserker. Got a stink field, snowfield stink hole for lands. The pack rare is... Oh, we got a foil struggle for Skifmar. The pack rare this time is... Harold Unites the Elves. Harold Unites the Elves. So this one goes to green. Harold Unites the Elves for Ryan on multi. We got Arnie Slays the Troll again for multi. Path to the World Tree for green. And a Valkyrie's Sword for white. Our commons are Run Ashore. Bounding Gold, Dargar Recruiter, Galtolf Recluse, well, Village Rights, that's a hit for black. Got King Harold's Revenge, a Null, God's Hall Guardian, and Shackles of Treachery. You want the Raven's Form? Which one's the Raven's form? Have we pulled one yet? And which, uh... I don't know which one's the Raven's form. Uh... Raven's form is nice. I don't think we opened a Raven's form yet, guys. But if we do open a Raven's form... When you pull it, it's blue. Alright, sounds good. Raven Swarm for blue. Uh, Master Spy, I'm not entirely sure what colors are left in the uh, Horizons box break. We were waiting for Rakim to uh, pick his color. Um, if you want to go to the Facebook page and check that out and let me know what the status is on that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, God damn this pack. Where did my scissors go, guys? Where did my scissors go? Okay, yeah, we're still waiting on Raheem's pick right now. Alright. We'll give him a little longer to pick. Hopefully we don't have to make his pick for him. And then uh, we'll sort that out later. Blue and Lance have been taken so far, yeah. Both good choices. Both good choices. We got... Icy Manolith token. Snow Covered Mountain for the lands player. Oh, we've already got cards in the wrong pile. Snow Covered Mountain for the lands player, and the pack rare is. Magaz Brazen Outlaw. Magaz Brazen Outlaw. Dwarf Lord for red. First hit for Jamie. Nice. We got Noel the Forge Master. Extended fancy art for multi. We've got a Doom Sakar Titan for red. We've got an Elven Bow for green. I think that was just Rakeem uh, commenting his pick there, actually, guys. Depart the Realm. Breakneck Berserker. Scorn Effigy. We'll throw that in the colorless pile. Skull Raid. Ice Eyed Troll. Wither Crown. Battlefield Raptor. Harbringer. Vault Robber, and Bogart. 
Uh, the Horizons is full uh, currently, Sawyer. Uh, if you want to get in on a box break, uh, check us out at MTG Sick Breaks. Uh, my breaks are under the section Fangler's Breaks. Uh, the closest break we have to filling tonight is we have another box of Keladime with 8 slots in it. And it's at 4 out of 8 slots right now. Um, I could post up another Modern Horizons box if like 7 other people are interested in it, I guess. But uh, we need 7 more people for that. Got an Elf Warrior. Got a Highland Forest. Uh, Cyclone Summoner for the rare. Cyclone Summoner. Nice one for blue. Where's blue? Oh, there's blue. Replication Ring Colorless. Invasion of the Giants for multi. Provoke the Trolls for red. Bind the Monster. Mistwalker. Sulphur's Packmate. Broken Wings. Infernal Pet. Mast Vandal, Dread Rider, Axe Guard Cavalry, Dusk Wielder, and a Gold Maw Champion to finish off the pack. Yeah, Roman Ninja Princess is right. They all sold out today. They've been on the page for a while. Um, but yeah, we still have... Uh, Another box of Caladime that's at 4 out of 8 people in it, so if you guys want to fill that up, we'll crack another box of these ridiculously packaged packs tonight. We got a bear token, a snow-covered forest for lands, and the pack rare is... We got a foil to guard shadow, with the pack rare being... A cigar god favored. Cigar god favored. That looks pretty flashy, too. White doing pretty good so far. Let's get a sleeve for that play. bad boy. First strike, protection from gods. Exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until it leaves the battlefield with flash. And first strike, and protection from gods. That seems pretty good. That's a spicy pull, Austin. Congrats, congrats. We got a Vengeful Reaper, Black. Got a Spectral Steel, white. Got a Boreal Outrider, green. Strategic Planning. Dwarven Reinforcements. Ravenous Lidworm. Undersea Invader. Jarl of the Forsaken. Mammoth Growth. Tormentor's Helm. Arachneiform. And Valor of Worthy to finish it off. Alright, this middle stack's been pretty hot so far, guys. Don't forget if you guys are following, if you guys are on uh, Twitch and you haven't already given me a follow, please do so. We're up to 71 followers. Uh, once we get to 100 followers, we're going to give away something cool, probably like another promo pack or something like that. Uh, as well, you can now uh, sub to my channel. So if you're interested in the content you see and would like to support me, you can do so for the low price of a sub, which is free if you have Amazon Prime. We've got a giant wizard. Got a Woodland Chasm for lands. And a Mystic Reflection for blue is the rare. Mystic Reflection. We got Nefari Betrayer King for multi. Saw It Coming Counterspell for blue. Glauntville Slumber Mounds for lands. We got a Pilfering Hawk. Way Down. Dragar Thought Thief. Shimmer Drift Veil. We'll send that to lands. Coma's Faithful. Guardian Gladewalker. Kennel Master. Firewalker. Invoke the Divine. And a Longboat. Alright. Rakeem took multi. You took colorless. Uh, that leaves... Master Spy up next. I don't know what's taken or what's not taken. Unfortunately, I think that's uh, blue lands, multi, and colorless. Oh my god, these packs. Alright. Make your own art card. Snow-covered mountains for lands. And the pack rare is... 
We got a mask wood nexus going out to our unlucky player getting colorless. We got Tagar's Shadow for black. Got Svlevla Ice Shaper for multi. Got a Shepherd of the Comos for white. Starhelm Corsair. Berg Strider. Frostbite. Glittering Frost. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Elder Leaf Mentor. Omen's Path. Oracle. Cavern Hulk. And Dodged Pursuit to finish up the pack. There's tear strips at the side of the pack. How am I just learning this now? Where? Ah! Oh. Ta-da! You are a lifesaver, James Beck. You are a lifesaver. There's tear strips on the side. Who would have known? Who would have known? Uh, Master Spy, you'd have to go over to Facebook to see what's open. I don't have Facebook open currently. Got Icy Manolith for the token. Got an Ice Tunnel for the lands player. And our rare is... We got a Foil Infernal Pet. With our rare being... A Fajari's Retribution. Fajari's Retribution. This seems like a cool saga. Create an Angel Warrior token with Flying Vigilance. Until end of turn, Angels you control gain destroy target creature with power less than this creature's power. Angels you control gain double strike till end of turn. I like me some Tribal Angels, that's for sure. That's a nice card. Got Litjar's More Lake for lands. Kaya's Onslaught White. Fall of the Imposter Multi. Bergstrider. Starham Corsair. Haunted Edge. Lindworm. Infernal Pet, Harbringer, Smashing Success, Champion, and a Fearless Pup. Is Fearless Pup good? I don't know. We'll send out Fearless Pup. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Facebook, look. There's tear strips. Twitch, look. There's tear strips. Now you know. Now you don't have to struggle on the first... Oh, I messed up the tear strip, of course. Just when I was going on about how great the tear strip was, I messed it up. This is he getting retarded? Hey oh, scissors. Chop chop, bye bye pack. Let's get to the cards. We got a human warrior. A snow covered mountain, and the pack rare is Realm Walker. Realm Walker. This is a spicy tribal card. Cast spells from the top of your library. I feel like it could even be good in modern elves. That's how good this card is. Realm Walker. Nice hit. Nice hit. We've got a Great Hall of Starnhelm. Kind of mediocre. Got a Spirit of Arngard for green. And we got a Argar, the Freezing Flame, extended border. That's pretty cool for multi. With a Pilfering Hawk, Dwarven Reinforcements, Raven, Seeker, Dread Rider, Sentinel, Scorn Effigy for Colorless Pile. Up to five cards in the Colorless Pile now. We got Dusk Wielder, Shield Mate, and Hulk. Five cards in the Colorless Pile going to the person with the least value pulled tonight. We'll have to, uh, I don't know if it's going to be super obvious or not. I might have to take some time tallying that up after the stream to figure out who it goes to. But the tear strip's bad, though. It doesn't work half the way. But you know what works the other half the way? Scissors. We're cheating. We're cheating, guys. I don't care. These packs are garbage. I don't mean these packs are garbage. These packs are pretty friggin' hot. We're pulling hot cards out of them. The wrapper's garbage. We've got a snow-covered plains. And the rare is... Skefmar Avenger for black. Whenever a non-token elf or berserker dies, you draw a card and lose a life. That's pretty cool. Got a Divine Gambit for white. Got Skarmfar Elder Hall 
for Lance. Vega the Watcher for Multi. Drimjagar. Behold the Multiverse. That card's kind of good. We'll send that out. Stalwart Valkyrie. Actually, that card's kind of good in, in uh, Popper. We'll send that out too. Elder Fang Disciple. Mentor. Feed the Serpent. Invoke the Divine. Raider. Codespell Cleric. And Cinderheart Giant. They need, like, a stronger piece of plastic in the tear strip. They need a stronger piece of plastic in the tear strip. Can I just do that with the scissors? Well, good thing it's a common at the back. We got treasure. Volatile Fajord lands. Rare is the Raven's Warning in Foil. The Raven's Warning in Foil. I mean, we've been trying the tear strips so far. Not winning. So good. The Raven's Warning in Foil. Nice. And a Glorious Protector. Glorious Protector to go along with it. It's two rares, one pack. The Raven's Warning Foil. That's a nice foil. Let's show that off. There you go, Facebook. There you go, Twitch. And a glorious protector for white. We got a ruined crown for colorless. Rune of flight for blue. Inner Sturm Skullcarn for lands. Frostbeak Yeti. Demon Bolt. Snakeskin Veil. That card's kind of good. We'll send it to green. Demon's Gifts. Wings of Comos. Doomsayer. Arachnia Form. Seize the Spoils. And a Warhorn Blast. Drop the camera down or bring the hand up. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can work on that. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Should have let me know sooner. Of course, the lock's messing with me right now. Looks like both hands are on screen now. Cool, cool. All right, no more tear strips. We're wasting time with those. Oh, look, that was a better tear strip. Look at that. Just tear it right down the middle. We got a spirit token. Snow-covered forest for lands. And the pack rare is... Oh, buddy. It's an extended art mythic. Alarn's Epiphany. Create two blue bird creature tokens. Take an extra turn after this one. Exile it. And you can foretell it, too. That's a hot card. Taking turns effects. Those are always good. Let's get this bad boy in a sleeve. Yeah, nobody's going to be repacking these packs. That's for sure. No possible way you can open it. And then re-glue it together. Uh, we got two, uh, two nice cards for white so far. Uh, we got this Arlon's Epiphany, extended art for blue. Uh, we got a foil Raven's Warning for multi. Uh, 
One stack so far. White's been the big winner so far. We got Lajari White. Glade Warden. Blah. Tongue twister. Got Harold King of Safar for multi. Usher of the Fallen for white. Kinseekers. Packmate. Disdainful Stroke. Glittering Frost. Raise the Dragar. Intruder. Grizzled Outrider. Raiders Kavar. Huggy Mob. And a story seeker to finish it out. Alright, which stack are we going for next? Left or right, guys? Left or right? I'm going to take a quick drink break. Just a reminder if you guys are watching us on Facebook, you could be watching us over at Twitch TV. Fangler MTG. It's completely free to use and watch. Uh, you get every pick, every pack in high definition. Uh, if you guys are watching on Twitch and you haven't already followed, uh, please hit that follow button. We're up to 71 followers. Once we get to, uh, to 100, we're going to give away something cool, probably a promo pack uh, as well. I'm also a Twitch affiliate now, so you can sub to my channel. If you like the content you see, it helps support me. Uh, thanks for that follow, Barkman. Up to 72 followers, so I guess that's... Everything I need's in the stack on the left. You've been watching me and you haven't even been following me. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's alright. You followed today, that's what counts. There we go, we'll make our own tear strips. Way better than wizard's tear strips. Everything we need's in the left stack. Let's get it done. Got an elf warrior. Got a snow covered island. That's always a good sign. Our pack rare is Comos God of the Voyage. Coma God of the Voyage. Uh draws you some cards, or you can flip it over. And play it as a vehicle card, which is pretty cool too. Nice hit blue, nice hit blue. Blue with two hits in a row. Catch him back up to white, I think. We've got a Rune of Speed for red. Skefar's Shadow Sage, black. The Three Seasons, multi. Mists of Lajara, Breakneck Berserker, Run Ashore, Struggle. Skull Raid, Wings, Revitalize, Seize the Spoils, Raiders, and a Warhorn Blast. Nice hit, Blue. Oh, the packs are getting easier to open. Or I'm just getting more aggressive on them. Got Make Your Own Art Card, Snow Covered Plains, and the pack rare is... Resplendent Marshall. Resplendent Marshall. Mythic rare for white. White pulling ahead here in value. I don't think you're getting that colorless pile tonight, white. I've already pulled too much value here. Resplendent Marshall. Nice one. Mythic rare. Let's get a sleeve for that bad boy. It's an angel warrior. And it's a three drop. So it's probably playable. And it's probably money. I don't know. I didn't actually look up the money cards from this set, so I'm just guessing. We got a Battle Shield Warrior for white as well. We got a Strutland Frostpire for lands. And a Marathi of the Frost Extended Border for multi. Bounding Gold, Depart the Realm, Squash, Village Rights for black. Glotov Recluse, Raven's Wings, Smashing Success. Axeguard Brogart, Harbringer, and Omen's Path to finish off the pack. I don't know, maybe it was just that middle stack that was just impossible to open. Welcome to Play Arena! Hey, we got free codes for that to give away, guys. Glacial Floodplains for lands. And the pack rare is... We got an Axeguard Brogart foil. Axgart Bogart foil. Look at how flashy that guy is. 
for white. And the pack rare is... The Bears of Litjara. The Bears of Litjara for multi. We got a Fearless Liberator for red. Got a Hailstorm Valkyrie for black. And the Trickster God's Heist for multi. With a Bind the Monster, Strategic Planning, Wither Crown, Ice Hide Troll, Dragar Recruiter, Battlefield Raptor, Firewalker, Dodge Pursuit, and a Valor of the Worthy to finish the pack off. Alright, let's keep those hits coming. Also, just a reminder for those of you on Twitch, uh, we do have another giveaway going on too. Uh, you'll notice at the top there's our sub and our cheer leaderboard. So if you gift a sub to somebody, you might get on that leaderboard. And if you cheer a bunch, you get on that cheer leaderboard. At the end of February, whoever's on top of those leaderboards will get a prize. It's almost like a prize for being the most Canadian or something. Especially gifting subs. Gifting subs is where it's at. We got a human warrior. Got a snow-covered swamp for lands. And the pack rare is... Tibalt's Trickery. Tibalt's Trickery. I'm going to sleeve this card for you. And hopefully it's still playable by the time you get it in the mail a week from now. Because I've heard this card is hella busted. Hella busted. There's already a sleeve in that top loader. Hella busted. You guys like turn two Ulamogs in uh, in uh, historic? You guys like turn two, turn three shenanigans in modern? This is your card. This is your card. Tibalt's trickery. Nice hit, red. Red on the board with some value. Got an avalanche collar for blue. Got a Frenzied Raider for red. Got a Rune Stance for white. Sculptor, Mistwalker, Revenge, Kennelmaster, Gladewalker, Faithful, Cavalry, Arachniform, Champion, and a Cavern Hulk. And Freddy the Goalie is uh, making use of our uh, sound emotes with the wow sound. Uh, there's soundy uh what's it called sound alerts is a, the app that we're using uh it gives you the option to use your channel points and some cheer points for some cool stuff such as that because we like cracking packs because yolo so yolo of course is one of our uh one of our free to use ones uh if you guys are getting a little more uh ambitious you want to hear the uh, Star Wars Cantina song on stream for 15 seconds. I think that's like 100 bits or something to do that. We get to listen to the Star Wars Cantina song for 15 seconds. We've got a bird token. We've got a Highland Forest for lands. And the pack rare is a Blessing of Frost. Blessing of Frost for green. A Rune of Might for green. Ascent of the Worthy for Multi, and a Ballast Ravager for Red. We got Frostbite, Dragar Thought Thief, Mast Vandal, Shimmer Drift Veil will send a Lance, Dread Rider, Mammoth Growth, Codespell Cleric, Raven's Form, Vault Robber, and Master Scald. Yeah, let's hope to fill the last two spots on the third break there, Sawyer. I agree with you on that. We're at 6 out of 8 on Caladime. It's $25 a slot. List will be randomized and then colors will be drafted. It's currently two slots left. Two slots left and we could break that box after the Modern Horizons box tonight. Got Angel Warrior. Snow Covered Forest for lands. And the pack rare is... Nikos Defiles Destiny is our foil uncommon. And the actual pack rare is Rally the Ranks. Rally the Ranks. This seems like quite an impressive card. Creature types get plus one, plus one. That's a pretty good anthem. Another hit for white. Got a Blood Sky Berserker for black. We got a Kadar Doom Scourge for multi. Port of Carfell for lands. Way down. 
Pilfering Hawk, Intruder, Jarl of the Forsaken, Lidworm, Feed the Serpent, Helm, Raider's Carve, and Doomsake Sakar Oracle. Can Blue have the bird token? I don't know. Let me see. Can we find a bird token here for Blue? Yeah, I think we can hook Blue up with a bird token. There you go, good cat. There's your bird token for you. Actually, you know what? You need a second bird token? Here's two bird tokens. I have a second one on the house. Yeah, that's break number uh, 34 that you guys are talking about that has two slots left. Only $25 to buy in. Uh, list gets randomized, and then you pick colors from there. We have Treasure Token, Woodland Chasm for lands, and the pack rare is a Valus God of Lies. Valus God of Lies. Was this the card you were hoping to hit, Black? Was this the card you were hoping to hit? Let's get a sleeve for this bad boy. This guy belongs in a sleeve. I don't know what he, what's he do on the other side. Oh, this is Tybalt on the other side. Right. Tybalt on the other side. But, Valky, God of Lies, for Black. Nice hit, Black. Nice hit, Black. Sorry, Black, but you're not getting the colorless cards either. I think we're down to, like, green, red, or maybe Lands gets it. But I think Lands gets enough value in 36 basics. Nice hit, Black. Who's on black tonight? Tonight on black, we have James on black. Yeah, it might be James back on black. We have a frost dogger for blue. We have a colossal plow for colorless. Colorless pile building up a little bit here. We got like seven or eight cards for you. Fajari, judge of valor for multi. Got a bounding gold. Bergstrider, Demon Bolt, Elderleaf Mentor, Haunted Edge, Seeker, Wings, Fearless Pup, we'll send that to Red, Evoke the Divine, and Cinderheart Giant. Yeah, that was his uh, first pick. Yeah. He, uh... He, uh Played the smart strategy of taking two slots so that he got first and last and could choose black first. A smart strategy. A smart strategy. Only works out sometimes when the randomizer has your back, but a smart strategy nonetheless. Tybalt over green. Tybalt over green is what he's saying. That's where it's at. We got Icy Manolith. Snow Covered Swamp for the Lands player. And the pack rare is a Bragari God of Storytelling. Bragari God of Storytelling. Uh, creatures can boast twice, and you can add some mana. And then the back, you can discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library, you can play those cards this turn. That's a pretty good legendary artifact. Nice hit, Red. Nice hit, Red. Got a glimpse of the Cosmos. Cosmos. Ooh, a nice Finn the Fangbearer for green. Nice one, green. We got a Kadar's Vicious Return for Multi, Augury Raven, Grim Jakar, Behold the Multiverse, that's decent, we'll send it to blue, Demonic Gifts, Glittering Frost, Infernal Pet, Revitalize, Instrum Rider, Story Seeker, and Dusk Wielder. Six boxes of Kaladime in the mail, that's pretty decent, that's pretty decent. They're all just regular boxes, or did you get any collectors or set boxes there, too? Uh, 
Sorry, guys, just taking a stretch. Two collectors, two sets, two drafts. I like it. That sounds like a solid order. Get you everything you want, probably, for your case. And then if you find your missing cards, you just head over to uh, Sick Breaks and find the colors, color breaks, and uh, get the cards you're missing. We got a Make Your Own Art card. Got an Arctic Tree Line, and the pack rare is... The foil is a foil woodland chasm for lands, and the pack rare is Crippling Fear. Crippling Fear for black. Choose a creature type. Creatures that aren't of the chosen type get minus three, minus three till end of turn. Decent board type. We got a Bloodline Pretender for the colorless pile. Up to about ten cards now. We got a Brigard Stronghold for lands. Nikos Defiles Destiny for multi. Behold the Multiverse for blue, Grimdragar, Intruder, Berserker, Snakeskin Veil will send a green, Story Seeker, Cinderheart Giant, Code Spell Cleric, and a Fearless Pup for red. We got another taker on box 34. What are we up to? 7 out of 8 now? That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Alright, welcome to Play Arena. Snow Covered Island, and the pack rare is. A Righteous Valkyrie. Righteous Valkyrie. Whenever another creature, angel, or cleric enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have 7 or more than your starting life total, creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2. That card seems really good. We got a dual strike for red, a Dragar's Helm for black, Frostpire Arcanist for blue, got an Augury Raven, Stalwart Valkyrie will send a white, Kin Seekers, Feed the Serpent, Seeker, Gifts, Giant Ox, Hagi Mob, Masker Sold, and Roots of Wisdom. One slot left, that's good, that's good. Hopefully somebody will fill that slot up. We'll advertise for it after this break. And that should get somebody to fill it up. Alright, finally made it into this pack. Got Make Your Own Art, Snow Covered Plains, and a Battle for the Brigard for Multi. Binding of the Old Gods for Multi. Axe Guard Armory, my favorite land for lands. Tutor and Aur and Equipment. Got a Dwarven Hammer for Red. Demon Bolt, Frostbeat Yeti, Sculptor of Winter, Golden Vein Pick, Sentinel, Raise the Dragar, Wings of the Comos. Instrum Raider, God's Hall Guardian, and a Null. Finishing off the pack. Alright, last pack in this stack. Then 12 more packs to go. Let's hope to hit some more Gods and Mythics and Sleeve cards. Got Treasure Token. Sulfurous Mire for Lands. The pack rare is... Oh, hello! Alon's Epiphany foil this time. And that means we're going to get another rare behind it. So you got an extended art version and you got a foil version. And there's going to be another rare and that's Rise of the Dread Marin. Rise of the Dread Marin. Let's get a sleeve on this blue card. Blue doesn't need the uh, colorless bounty prize tonight. Blue's doing pretty hot. Yeah, I think so far blue and white are the blue, white, and black are the ones on fire tonight. Got Rays of the Dread Marn for black. Poison the Cup. Forging the Trite Sword for multi. Giant's Amulet, blue. Disdainful Stroke. 
Iron Verdict, Outriders, Disciple, Pick, Run Amok, Shieldmate, Shackles, and a Raven's Form. Actually, wait, was Raven's Form the one we wanted? The blue card we wanted? I forget. I'll just put it in the blue pile anyways. Yeah, this is a pretty decent box so far. We're only two-thirds of the way through it. We're just going to take a quick drink break here, guys, and then we'll get to the last stack of packs. Where's my mic mute? All right, last stack of packs. Yes, please, on the Ravens form. All right, we got you. We got you. My memory's not super great sometimes, so if I forget, just remind me. I'm not trying to take the cards away from you. I'd rather send out more hits to you and have less chaff kicking around the house. Do I have any cool mats I am not precious to? Ah, uh, yes. That is a very good question, and the answer is definitely yes. I have... My personal collection of mats is about a dozen that I'm attached to, and my collection of mats to sell is about a dozen, which includes various game day mats, uh, GP mats, a channel fireball mat, and some random other things. I will show you after. We got an Angel Warrior, Alpine Meadow for lands, and the rare is Dark Boar Pathway. Dark Boar Pathway, a hit for the lands player. Nice hit, lands. Dark Boar Pathway turns into Slither Boar Pathway. Black Green, dual land. Nice hit, lands. Got a Clarion Spirit. Yeah, the village rights are going to black. Did I miss one? Village rights is a hit, 100% in my opinion. 100% a hit. If I missed one, let me know. And I'll go back and find it for you. Got the Rune of Mortality for Black. Gates of Isfeld. This card's actually really good for uh, Pioneer, I think, for lands. Got Strategic Planning. Way Down. Mistwalker. Vandal. Faithful. Growth. Raven's Wings. Dodge Pursuit. Raptor. And Axe Guard Cavalry. Yeah, no, Village Rights is 100% a hit. That card's super good. You play. Cro I'm considering playing it in my uh, Rakdos Rack deck. Because you play Croxa, and then with the Sack Trigger on the stack, you play Village Rights, draw two cards. Then your opponent discards a card and potentially loses three life. Uh, that's for Modern, I'm talking. But you could do the same thing in Pioneer, too. And you could play Shrieking Afflictions just not racks so you have to make do with a few less rack effects in pioneer i played around with uh rack and pioneer a bunch getting off on a side note here but story time i played around with rack and pioneer a bunch it was pretty good mono black was like so so it kind of needed the black green splash for like assassin's trophies and stuff like that but the deck always felt like kind of like a two three level deck like it had had good matchups, it had bad matchups. If you go to an event, you're probably just going to finish medium. It didn't seem like a good deck to spike a tournament with. Got uh, Welcome to Play Arena. Back to the pack cracking. Enough storytelling about 8 rack. I could talk about 8 rack all day, so let's not get me started. Snow Covered Swamp for the lands player. And a Pyre of Heroes. Pyre of Heroes going out to the bounty prize for Colorless. Got a Blizzard Brawl for green. We got a Majar Brigade Protector for multi. Return Upon the Tide for black. Frostbite, Thought Thief, Sculptor, Jarl, Gladewalker, Golden Vein Pick, Roots of Wisdom, Scald, Firewalker, and a Giant Ox. Giant Ox. Demirak, yeah. 
Uh, I'd considered Demir Rack too, um, but it didn't. The problem with Mono Black Rack is it just didn't have answers to threats, so we needed things like Assassin's Trophy and Abrupt Decay to answer certain threats that Mono Black just can't answer. Um, I guess Blue would give you the option of like having some counter spells to answer threats you can't answer, but that does feel kind of slow to me. I would not really want to be on a... If I was playing Control, I'd be playing like a 59 card control deck with one win con in Pioneer. Black Red is the new 8 rack, yes, in Modern. Black Red's the new 8 rack. If you haven't seen, I have a deck tech up on my YouTube page, uh, Fangler MTG on YouTube. There's a deck tech up with a uh, Black Red 8 rack, although I'm considering the inclusion of Village Rights. Yeah, Rack's just kind of slow in Pioneer, unfortunately. It at least still has legs in Modern. We have a bird token. Oh. Sorry, I'll put myself on Do Not Disturb. Sorry about that. Thought I already was on Do Not Disturb. Got a Glacial Flood Plains Land. And a Graven Lore for Blue. Graven Lore. Ascent of the Worthy for Multi. Frost Augur Blue. Finn the Fang Bearer for green. Sick card, sick card. Poison and Standard. We got Run Ashore, Iron Verdict, Depart, Invader, Recruiter, Broken Wings, Roots of Wisdom, Blast, Shackles, and an Axe Guard Brigard. Alright. We got about eight packs left here. Good luck, good luck, everybody. Who could use some hits? I think green could use a hit right now. Red already got a hit. Black got a hit. Blue got some hits. White got some hits. I don't know if multi really has, like, hits per se. They just get a big stack of, like, playables and rares. Snow-covered island. Always a good sign. The pack rare is... We have a foil Vega the Watcher. With the pack rare being a haunting voyage. Haunting voyage for black. Choose a creature type. Return up to two creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield. If the spell was foretold, return all creature types of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield instead. Well, that's interesting. It's like another living death. It's like another living death. Yes, it is the first time I'm seeing this card. That's why I'm reading it. A lot of these rares, it's the first time I see them. Opening packs. I did not actually look at the set spoilers much this time i was gonna write a review of the set but i never got around to it just got caught up doing other stuff yeah that card seems nuts it's just another living death basically but for tribal so like even better than living death because living death bring back all your opponent's stuff and that just only brings back your tribal stuff seems way better sick hit black sick hit we got a Kadar Doom Scourge for multi, Crush the Weak for red, and a Full Art Inga Rune Eyes for blue. Nice one. We got a Squash, Bind the Monster, Raid, Recluse, Kennel Master, Raven's Form for blue. See, I remembered. Omen's Path, Valor, and a Tormentor's Helm to finish off the pack. Just a reminder, if you guys are watching us on Twitch and you haven't hit that follow button already, please do so. We're up to 72 followers. Once you get to 100 followers, we're going to give away a cool promo pack. So that'll be pretty cool. So tell your friends. Uh, what's that? 28 more followers and we get a cool promo pack for somebody. Got a Demon Berserker. Snow-Covered Swamp. And the rare is... Comos Elixir. Comos Elixir. The bounty pile's getting a little bigger. The bounty pile's getting a little bigger. We got a Marathi of the Frost for multi. Hailstorm Valkyrie Black. Balsit Ravager Red. Augury Raven Blue. Starnhelm Corsair. Sentinel. Disciple. Invader. 
Outrider, Invoke the Divine, Cinderheart Giant, Revitalize, and Instrum Raider. Alright, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six packs left after this. Good luck, good luck, everybody. Got a replicated ring to go with colorless's replicated ring. Snow covered mountain for lands, and the rare is the Raven's Warning non foil this time. The Raven's Warning. Ooh, we got a Fajar Judge of Valor. This is the first time I've seen this extended art. That looks. Look at that gruesome looking artwork. Grizzly. Grizzly. I like it. I like it. Nice hit multi. We've got our Runes of Might for green. Runes of Stance for white. Frostbeat Getty. Breakneck Berserker. Kinseeker. Dragar. Scorn Effigy. We'll throw that in the colorless bounty pile. Snakeskin Veil for green. Berserker. Story Seeker. Dusk Wielder. And Haggy Mob. Uh, welcome to play Arena. Rimwood Falls lands. Pack rare is. We have a Foil Behold the Multiverse. Foil Behold the Multiverse. Look at that. That's pretty nice. I like how the set stamp is like in it too in Foil. That's really nice. Sorry, Facebook. That's really nice. And our pack rare is. A Scotty's Chariot. A Scotty's Chariot for green. Not quite the hit green was hoping for. Got a Frenzied Raider, red. A Blood Sky Berserker, black. Oh, sorry about the camera bump. Got a Kadar's Vicious Return, multi. Sculptor of Winter, Disdainful Stroke, Shimmer Drift Veil lands. Struggle, Wither Crown, Shield Mate, Annul, Seize, and God's Hall Guardian. Alright, Dwarf Berserker, Snow Covered Forest, Pack Rare is Comos Charger. Comos Charger for blue. We got a Port of Carfell for lands, Glimpse of the Comos for blue, and a Colossal Plow for that bounty pile. Got a Bounding Gold, Mists, Demon's Bolt, King's Revenge, Village Rites, obviously a hit for black, Ice Hide Troll. Smashing Success, Longboat, Giant Ox, and Run Amok. Alright, what do we got here? Four packs left. Good luck, good luck, everybody. Let's see some spicy cards out of these four packs. Elf Warrior. Snowfield Sinkhole, and the pack rare is... Well, we got a Foil Sculptor of Winter for green, and the pack rare is... A God God of the Comos for blue. Blue, big time winner in this box break. Big hits, big hits. Gets plus one, plus one for each card in your hand, and each four card told you own in exile. That's pretty good. What's it flip over into? We got a legendary creature bird flying. When it deals combat damage to a player, return it to its owner's hand, then scry two. That seems really good too. Two mana, two, three flyer. And then you just have to bounce it, replay it, and scry two. That's pretty good value. What a sick hit there, Blue. What a sick hit. Alright, so Blue, you're not getting the colorless stuff. We got a Bregetta Stronghold for lands. Poison the Cup Black. 
The Three Seasons, Multi, Strategic Planning, Reinforcements, Shimmer Drift Veil Lands, Rider, Mammoth Growth, Dodge Pursuit, Valor of the Worthy, Axe Guard Cavalry, and Arachneal Form, finishing off the pack. Welcome to Play Arena. Snow Covered Plains. Pack rare is Egon, God of Death. Egon, God of Death. There you go, Black. There's another hit. Egon, God of Death. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile two cards from your graveyard. If you can't, sack it and draw a card. And it flips over into Throne of Death at the beginning of your upkeep, mill a card. To and tap, exile a creature card from your graveyard, draw a card. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. We got a giant's amulet. Scafar Shadow Sage. Forging the Trite Sword. Thought Thief. Way Down. Hawk. Intruder. Jarl. Lindworm. Champion. Hulk. Code Soul Cleric. And a Raven's Form for Blue. Alright, two packs left. Good luck, good luck, everybody. Got Make Your Own Art, Snow Covered Plains, and the pack rare is Coma Comos Serpent for Multi. Coma Comos Serpent for Multi. That's a hit. Well, if we were wondering if Multi was getting the uh, bounty prize, I don't think Multi's getting the bounty prize. Got a Rune of Speed for Red. Got a Frostland, or a Strutland Frostpire for Lands. Battleshield Warrior White, Stalwart Valkyrie White, Berg Strider, Frostbite, Feed the Serpent, Mentor, Haunted Edge, Seeker, Fault Robber, Masker Scald, and a Tormentor's Helm. Alright, come on, let's get a big hit for green, otherwise they're getting the colorless pile here, I think. Come on guys, let's root for a nice big green hit here. See some love in chat for green. Got a make your own art. Got an arctic tree line. And the pack rare is... Oh, it's green. It's a foil, though. Finn the Fangbearer. Extended art. Foil. Finn the Fangbearer. Extended art foil. That's a nice one for green. Let's see if we can get them another hit. The World Tree. The World Tree for lands. Nice hit lands. The World Tree. Ten. W double Wooberg. Sack. Search your library for any number of gods. Put them onto the battlefield. And let's get a sleeve for this Foil Fin the Fang Bearer. Foil Fin the Fang Bearer. We got the Trickster Gods Heist. Fearless Liberator. Avalanche Collar, Behold the Multiverse Blue, Grimdegar, Wings of Comos, Demonic Gifts, Glittering Faust, Infernal Pet, Raider's Kavar, Doomsakar Oracle, and Fearless Pup for Red. Alright, so that was our box break there, guys. Uh, let's just go through this and recap. So, Red got a Tybalt's Trickery. That's a pretty good hit. Uh, white started off the box break strong, if you remember correctly, with these two uh, alt art gods. Those are pretty sick. And we also have a resplendent marshal for white. White nut didn't do too bad. Lands. Got a world tree. Got another land. Dark boar pathway. Got a stack of lands. I think you're pretty set. Multi, what's Multi got? Multi's got the coma. Multi's got a bunch of cool alt arts, foils, bunch of rares. Foil Raven's Warning. Multi's got some nice stuff. Multi's got some nice stuff. Uh, blue, 
Blue had crazy hits. We had a God. And we had the double Epiphany. One foil. A Como. God of the Voyage. One full art. That's pretty cool. Blue definitely, I think, was our winner here. Blue or black. Let's see what black's got. So black's got an Egon. Black's got a Haunting Voyage. And black's got the Valky, which flips into Tybalt. Flips into Tybalt. Nice one. And yeah, that's black. So black's pretty good. So far all the colors have looked pretty good. Let's look at green. I think green gets our artifacts. So we have a Finn the Fangbearer foil. That's nice. Um, we have a Finn the Fangbearer non-foil. We have one rare. A Realm Walker, which is probably the best card in the set. And yes. Alright, so... Unless anybody believes otherwise, I believe the colorless hits all go to green. So that means green. Here's your new hits too. You got some plow, score an effigy, ring, como selector, prior of heroes, pretender, colossal plow, rune crown, another effigy, maskwood nexus, replication ring, and a weathered rune stone for constructed. So there you go, green. You get all the colorless cards. Definitely did not pull very hot in this break. And that's fine, because now you got two colors worth of cards. Replication ring for EDH. Yeah, you even got the token for it. But you need six more tokens, I think, still. Alright, so let's stop the video for YouTube there. Uh, thanks for tuning in on YouTube to watch this box break. Hope you guys had a great time. Uh, if you want, there's more content up on my channel, more box breaks, uh, gameplay footage of Arena, deck techs, and whatnot. Check it out. FanglerMTG at YouTube. Uh, thanks for tuning in, YouTube.